What's good, YouTube? Back with some more Assassin's Creed. This time, working on Sequence 3. So, we got three main missions here. Uh, the first of which is Unconvinced. Rather simple one. Um, only real things, you know, limiting our health loss and uh, use breakable objects during the fight. So, let's jump straight into this one. It's a, you know, nice, quick, easy one. Shouldn't be too difficult, but the other two missions got a little bit more of a challenge to him, but... You know, we'll start off with the first one and work our way up, so. Mm. Really need to install this to the HD already. Mm. Look at all those new weapons I got. Just picked up a new dagger, a new sword. I was thinking about getting a crazy pistol that shoots like three shots at once, but I figured it Have might, you found be, her? might uh, be a bit of uh, She's... So, this mission's basically going to start off with us chasing the, uh... I am afraid I have some around. bad news, sir. Oh? First, we need to find her. Which involves riding alongside Lee for a little bit. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pit Cairn. Oh, to say, say nothing of the shaming way. we gave him. Oh. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Here! Uh, basically, once we uh, we'll find some tracks of where she's at, and we're gonna locate her, and then once we locate her, we need to get her trust, which involves going to the bar and beating up some hoodlums. Well, the long run it involves taking down Braddock, but we're too late. We're not too late. God, Lee is such a pal. These tracks are fresh. But they must be hers. Mm. Obviously, the tracks are Seems she took to higher ground. And you'll learn really fast. Out of fast the snow and into the trees. Snow is obnoxious in this game. As you can see, Haytham is not having the easiest time getting through this. Makes me think of those, those winters up north when I was growing up, man. Hated having to walk through snow like this. It's like every step, you're just like, oh my god. And the game really does bring that feeling back, so... If you grew up in a colder climate and dealt with snow when, when you were a kid, it'll, it'll feel like, you know, nostalgic. But anyway, we find her setting up some traps, trying to catch some rabbits. Wait here. We're going to try and sneak up on her, but we're not that sneaky. But basically, she's going to take off running. Let's do return to Brad, Charles, before he grows suspicious. So I can you, handle things from here. You can see. But nothing. Bitch is a straight up ninja. Stop running. Trees. I only wish to talk. Meanwhile, we're like a slow old fat guy trying to I am not the snow. your enemy. Please just hear me out. There we go. We got some logs. God's woman. Only let me speak. Made, uh, made us move a little bit quicker. Oh, what's this? There's wolves at the camp. Ooh. But don't worry, we're gonna take him out. So basically, wolf's gonna dive at you. You're always gonna hit B first, and then you're gonna follow up. From what I've seen so far, either A or Y. I'm assuming it could also be like B and then X, but my experience has been B then A then B or Y. But um, either way, you need to make sure. Oh, I'll speak of the dead. There's a BX. But either way, you gotta make sure you kill these wolves. The whole uh, requirement of limit health loss by 50%. If one of those wolves gets a hold of you, it's it's over. You'll basically hit the ground and have to tap a button repeatedly to get out. But they just burn through your health bar, which I mean isn't really surprising. You got a wolf going at your neck, so. But now that the wolves are dead, we need to find her. Oh, there's another wolf. Take this one down. Oh, juke move. Stab into the neck. Don't mess with Haytham. He's a pimp. There she is. Alright. You see. try my patience, woman! As you can see, Haytham is not very happy about, about her running again. Trudge up the snowy cliff. Let's see if we can chase her through the trees. 
Oh, well, looks like I'm not very good at running through trees. I guess that's what, it's part of being a, a Brit. Compared to the crazy nimble Indian woman. But we got her. All right. Are you touched in the head? Me? Haytham? I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <laughs> Sorry. As you can see, kind of an, what do you want? an awkward first real meeting. Kind of made Haytham look like a moron there, but it's all right. We'll forgive her. But anyway, obviously, you want to know if she knows how to find the symbol. So, Kan Ikito. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but we're going to try our best at it. But as you can see, we're going to That town holds soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're and led by a man known as the Bulldog. That we need. Edward Braddock. That's right, Braddock. We're going to have to kill him. Eventually. Not quite yet, but soon. So. Now we're going to make our way down. Obviously, be careful here. If you just straight jump off the cliff. I mean, you could go for the, the barrel hay there, but a straight jump and missing the hay. I don't trust you. You'll lose your 50% health, and yeah, then you'll you feel kind of like a moron. But I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. Oh, so basically, we're going to go to this bar. And there's going to be a little fist of cups that are going to go down. And this is where our second objective, the use breakable objects during a fight, is going to come in. Now, if you've seen my other videos, uh, you might have remembered me mentioning how well, when you Wait counter here. an attack, a mohawk you can be threatened with a number of things, if not muskets. Well, this following up with B after you initially counter, I can handle myself. Do like a quick grapple and throw, and that's where that's going to come so. in. So basically, once this full fist fight starts, we're going to grab people and then throw them into stuff. But before that, we got to do a little eavesdropping. So. I'll do so, hmm. Now we'll go for the other group. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. Nice easy to blend the right sting in with of this assault one. in the eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. So, we got our eavesdrop done. We gotta go get this one too, it looks like. Always for a little Yeah, here we go. We're just gonna go right between these two fine gentlemen. to move in our positions. Blend on in. Chill for a second. What Braddock intends to do about it? He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. All right. And that one's all done. And now we're gonna wander on towards the door. We can I see a bunch of people are looking at me. And Q fist Oi. Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh, and now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. Damn. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? Here you can see, hate them, don't mess around. Boom, oh, one breakable object. Maybe not. Towards this table. Come here, into the table you go. Come on. Uh, come on. Oh. There we go. Got our table stuck. So at this point, we just kick some ass. Make him beat him his own teeth. Obviously, we're not pulling out a blade and shank people up. This is a good old fashioned bar fist fight. No worries, Hayden knows how to handle himself. Yeah. 
do be aware, your uh, limit health off 50% is still active, so you'll want to try and counter as much as you can. You just keep taking punches. Health gets down. That's a pretty ninja punch right there. <laughs> like a jump spin punch. Oh, Haymaker. Ding, ding, ding. Champion of the world. You're hurt. Uh oh, that's nothing. Looks like love's blossoming. Here. Uh, we can skip the cinematic. You don't need to stop see the all bleeding. This. I'll wait till you watch it on your own playthrough. Besides, I'll probably kill the move with my commentary, right? But anyway, guys, that's all there is to it for Unconvinced. Like I said, not a very hard mission. You know, a couple counters, juke out a couple wolves, and you're all set. So, as you know, we're going to be going on to the next mission from here. So, if you're working on full sync and you needed help, make sure to check out my next video. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.